Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Uh, for this video, I have another HP 15 notebook that has a bad 500 gig hard drive in it, a regular hard drive. I'm going to open it up and replace the hard drive with a new solid state drive. I uh, basically want to show you how to get into it and replace the drive. This model has an AMD Ryzen processor in it. It's got 8 gigs of RAM. So it's not too bad, but it's kind of an inexpensive laptop. But adding a solid state drive to it, we won't have to worry about that hard drive clunking away like it's doing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to open it up. Now on the bottom of these models, if you take out this screw right here, you can release the optical drive over here, which I'm going to do with just using a paper clip, put it in a little release hole, push in, and it pops out, and then you can gently slide it out. <clears throat> now on these models, you have to remove these little rubber boots that are on the bottom, and a little tip when you get these going, don't stretch them too much because they always end up longer, but if you throw them in a cold spot or in the refrigerator for a few minutes, they kind of shrink up a little bit. So I got a very sharp, thin little tool I'm going to use to get these started because there's screws underneath there we need to get to. So I'm just trying not to stretch it too much. So it'll go back on without being an inch longer. And the one in the back also. Set those over there out of the way. I'm going to pop out the screws here using my cordless. <clears throat> now they have a piece of shiny tape under here, sometimes that comes out, sometimes it don't, but you're probably better off just to leave that in there and loosen the screws. I don't usually bore you with the screw removal, but on this one I am. So now we got all the screws out or loosened in this case. I'm going to flip it back over. I'm going to remove the keyboard and the whole palm rest here. Now I got a very, very, very thin, very sharp little tool I use here. Sometimes I use that, but I'm going to see on these HPs, usually if you use a little plastic tool so you don't leave marks, that's best. To get, the, get it started here. You can hear it snapping loose. See how comes loose there just be careful don't be yanking it off too quick <clears throat> usually around the CD-ROM drive opening you gotta use a little muscle there <clears throat> stuck here sorry guys we'll come all the way out Somebody. 
Got to be patient, prying these loose. Just like that, we got the bottom off. Now remember, your battery's still connected here, so you're gonna be really careful. Don't be having any metal tools in here. This model has eight gigs of RAM. It does have an expansion slot here for another eight gig stick, or four, whatever. Here's the hard drive that we're gonna replace with an SSD, a two and a half inch SSD. <clears throat> and this model does have an M2 slot right over here. If you can see that, there is a slot for an M2 drive. It even has the screw, which is nice. So you could go with an M2 drive, but in this case, we're just going to go with a two and a half inch solid state for this little repair job. Um, we're going to go ahead just to be safe. I'm going to carefully detach the battery here. Be very careful. So while we're poking and prodding around here, we're not going to short anything out. Alright guys, sorry about the interruption, I'm back. So I was about to, I took out the screws for the battery here, the three screws. I'm going to lift that out just to be safe. On these, it just plugs right into a connector right on the motherboard, so we're going to lift the battery out like this, I believe. Use plastic tools, of course. So we'll just get the battery out of the way. I'm going to open it up here and hit the power button a couple of times just to make sure. So now the hard drive, like I said, is right here. Um, I believe it just sits in there. If you look over here, it's got two little, mount, two little screws here that mount a little bracket to the back end of the hard drive. So we're just going to kind of lift that up. It just lifts up and slides back. Just like that. We're going to use this little mounting bracket here on the new solid state drive, which is right here. Nice little 250 gig SSD. So we're just going to remove that two screws. Don't have to go crazy putting the screws on too tight. I'm just used to using a cordless. I do this all day, every day, and for me it just goes a little quicker. I use my regular screwdriver a lot though. So now we're gonna carefully set it. Oop, make sure the little IO board didn't come loose. We're gonna plug it back in. Make sure it goes in all the way. And set it down. There's two little plastic tabs. Oops, here, right here, right here that it goes on. And we won't be adding more RAM, just the solid state drive, basically. So now we're going to carefully set the battery, make sure everything's good. We'll set the battery back in here. I am going to use a screwdriver for that, though. <clears throat> Then don't tighten these down too tight. But for a lower priced laptop having the M2 slot, the MBME slot there is kind of nice with an extra expansion slot. So you could beef it up some more if you wanted to. Definitely. Alright, so we got our battery back in there. I'm going to put the pan back on here. 
I think I said in the beginning of the video that I was going to be lifting the polymerist off. I think I misspoke on this one. We're not doing that. Obviously, we took the bottom pan off. It's been a long day. I'm a little tired. Sorry, guys. Always like to hear those. Snap that back in along the CD-ROM drive here. And just carefully snap things back in place. Just remember you got a screen under here. Don't be squeezing on that too much. You end up replacing the screen. Alright. So now, I'm going to put the optical drive back in the slot. Replace that screw. Now I'm not, on this video I'm not going to show you the clean install. Again, you're just going to use your USB flash drive you created from the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. I have another video for that you can check out. It's pretty simple to do. Then you can just boot up your flash drive, do a clean install of Windows 10, and away you go. Um, but this hard drive was making a lot of noise. Definitely bad. Um, he didn't have any data on it he even cared about, so we won't have to worry about data. And I won't bore you with putting all the screws back in. Just when you put these little rubber bumpers back on, if they're, if they're a little too long, if you let them get cold, they shrink up a little bit. Just the less you stretch on them, the better. But eventually you can get them back on. It's not that big a deal. So that was how you put a new SSD in this HP 15 notebook. I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to click on subscribe. I would appreciate it. And watch some of my other videos. Appreciate it. Have a great day.